Poco F1 has had a very stable oxygen OS port from the OnePlus 60 from a guy called Code Elixir, but he abandoned the project and then we got a highly unstable kind of alpha build straight from the OnePlus 7 Pro and um, then we were we were hopeless but finally a guy has ported oneplus uh, 6 uh, oxygen os to our poco f1 with all the exclusives for from the oneplus 7 pro so essentially it is a stable oneplus 7 pro build so let's dive into this beauty and let me tell you how to install this on your poco phone f1 let's get into the basics first how it works what all works what doesn't work and uh, before we do that uh, getting into that is uh, taking is gonna take some time so why not you just press the subscribe button to this awesome channel and subscribe me and then get more tech content and also like this video to show your support and encourage small channels like mine okay so basic stuff GPS is working Bluetooth is working Wi-Fi 4G Volti hotspot all working speaker volume working I mean it's uh, like very loud there is no problems there fingerprint uh, uh, fingerprint unlocking uh, face unlocking working even the IR face unlock works but you have to flash flash a uh, fix I'm going to tell you that ambient display works Fan fanatic fanatic gaming mode uh, from the oneplus 7 pro is here so uh, yeah you can game essentially very uh, at a very better pace than you can normally fanatic gaming mode from the oneplus 7 pro is here you can install the oneplus uh, you can install wallpapers from oneplus 7 pro uh, and it will give you all the wallpapers all of the all of the good ones the live ones screen recorder works with capturing the internal sound just like miui and it's super awesome if you have a pubg related or any gaming channel you need to record uh, content it's awesome and uh, now let's get on to what doesn't work because so many things work what doesn't work firstly IR camera doesn't work out of the box you have to flash a fix and uh, if you flash that fix the uh, flashlight stops working and you have to uh, root and install the godly flashlight app and use that instead of the first party uh, toggle from the uh, notification center also, PUBG doesn't work in full screen. Yeah, that's a bummer for some people, but that is going to get fixed real soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, check the description and uh, know if it has been fixed already. Also, uh, like that's it. That's mostly it. What's missing? Nothing uh, more. Now on to the installation. Okay, before we get on to the installation part, please again subscribe to this channel and get regular awesome tech content for your Pocophone F1 and in largely tech basis also. Uh, like this video and uh, show all your support and encourage the small channel which is mine and make it big. Also share it to your friends and tell them to subscribe. Yeah, promote me guys. Okay, finally instructions for flashing. Download the ROM. Firstly, that's essential. Uh, back up everything. I think you should back up your internal photos and all that too. Okay, at this point, you should be unlocked and have a TWRP installed. And after that, go into wipe, advanced wipe, system, data, cache, and wipe it. Do a factory reset after that. This is just to uh, like confirm that your device is going to work, not encrypt and anything. Then you go to the downloaded files, uh, the ROM zip, and just flash it it has the g apps and vendor firmware included okay uh, after that uh, flash dfe then flash vendor patch then once again flash D dfe which is disable force encryption okay now uh, that's it uh, boot into the system and you are going to see the sweet sweet os uh, boot up screen Okay, 
okay after you boot up there is some things that you have to do that is uh, install the google play services and uh, that will then make your phone super smooth before that it will be kind of buggy and also install this zip which is notification tiles which gives you uh, the opportunity the option to change your ringer mode from uh, normal to vibration or uh, silent because we don't have the alert slider like oneplus so we uh, actually miss that feature we don't have hardware support for that so you need to use this uh, application and then just put it in the toggles menu and toggle it and change whatever ringer mode you want to then uh, ir face unlock fix this uh, you have to flash and uh, ir flash uh, zip would disable your first party flashlight as i told you then uh, you need to root flash magisk and uh, then come back then install an app called godly torch from the description and use that instead of the normal torch there is nothing complicated to that also uh, what's new in the new build which came around on 24th june is uh, the ambient display is fixed pick up and not notifications both uh, screenshot bug was present so essentially you could not take a screenshot but now it's fixed and uh, google trusted face has been fixed so you get a trusted face unlock and long long screenshot expanded screenshot has been fixed the uh, cds profile has been fixed it is uh, like uh, it is part of the system and uh, you don't need to worry about that okay google detection has been fixed and uh, oneplus equalizer has been added uh, vendor firmware has been updated to 9.6.220 beta and let's get on to my verdict of this rom it's fluid af it's stable has awesome features from the oneplus 7 one, oneplus 7 pro and the oneplus 6 and has awesome internal screen recorder which you can record pubg and other games for youtube so my verdict verdict is flash and get going with this rom there is no second thoughts it's even more fluid when compared to the pixel experience which i reviewed uh, a few weeks before and if you have not seen that video here it is go ahead watch it so that's it from my side subscribe like this video share it to your friends and i will come out with more awesome content and more videos until then stay safe and stay techy bye bye guys